Hi guys, Beth here. So, um, I made this little, uh, folio, actually, it's more like a little, um, what do you want to call that? File folders, um, journal. And it turned out really cute. It was really fun to do because it wasn't like really taxing and long to do it. So, um, I got it done in like two days or so. Um, and I love this little girl. She's so cute. But so I guess I'll have to make another one because I don't think I want to part with this one. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, yeah, it's a mini file folder journal. And I held together with just some um, seam binding, which is unusual for me because, you know, I love to, like, embellish the daylights out of pages. Well, I kept this one relatively small, so it lays nicer. It's not as bulky. So now I just need... I'm just checking <laughs> the, to make sure I'm on. Now I just need to um, make sure that I do this with some of my journals as well. So we'll see how that goes. All right. So let's get into her. She um, measures. Let's see. Uh, four and a half by three. I'm going to say three and a quarter because I'm going to allow for that little tab there. Oh, God, this lace is going to drive me bananas. Um, on the front cover, it's just um, a bunch of random ephemera. Some is from Redeemable Junk. Some is Tim Holtz. Um, but I kept it pretty simple. Oh, by the way, um, the file folders are glued together and then I put the Tim Holtz fabric tape to hold it even stronger to help with the binding. Um, and then here we've got a little bit of, um, what do you call that? I've got, um, oh my God, I hate when that happens. Creepy cloth and some thin... I don't know. You know what it is. I can't think of the name. And then when you open it up, it's this huge butterfly, which I've put glossy accents on. Um, a little bit of collaging. Um, this is actually a little pocket right here. And this pulls out like that. Um, and then we've got just some vintage trims, a couple of vintage buttons. Over here, this is more of a botanical te uh, theme. Butterflies and flowers and creepy cloth and, um, what the heck is the name of that? I, why? Why can't I think of it? Um, cheesecloth. Yay! Cheesecloth. Um, and up here it says practice kindness. It's got a little bulldog clip with um a heart charm and a little flower um and it's got a pocket up at the top that comes out and then it's got a little seam binding on it turn the page and here we have another sort of botanical te uh, theme this is an actual pocket that i got i'm thinking it's tim holtz but i'm not sure and i stuck a few little goodies in there um mm -hmm. all right well we'll leave those out for now um this is just some stamping some stamp more stamping oh that's part of the paper um a tag that i cut in half um and over here we've got some tim holtz uh washi tape and some more little stamping there on the back over here, this is one of my favorite pages. This is like specimen cards, but they are held together um, all in one instead of just, you know, cutting them in half. And then I put a little uh, tag here that says archive. 
um, a little Tim Holtz um, blank sort of, um, I don't know what you call that. Um, I did stamping there. Here we've got some vintage um, laces and some vintage ticking. I love vintage ticking. Oh my God. Um, and I think I got those at Redeemable uh, Junk. Over here, we've got this cute little girl. Of course, this is Tim Holtz Paper Dolls. A butterfly wings behind her. Um, a little part of a sticker up there. Here, um, it says, Make It Happen. A vintage uh, button. Some uh, muslin. Coffee dyed muslin. Um, this is a die that comes like from 1 to 10 and cuts the little numbers out. Um, and then this says something, a payer. I don't know. I can't read it. I put the girl over top of it. <laughs> um, here we've got uh, some stamping. It says received. Another butterfly that I glossy accented. This, you know, I think... I really want to put, like, something in the center of that gauge. But that's a Tim Holtz gauge. These are some uh, flowers that have kind of been cut down from, from um, a die. This is... Um, it came, I think, in the black and white Tim Holtz ephemera pack. But don't quote me on that. This is um, a stamp that I had. No import importante um this is a like a ruler type thing and more tim holtz washi and this is also i don't know where this is from um might be from overseas over here we have a uh specimen slide with looks like two best friends that's what i'm thinking we've got part of um a ruler here some vintage washi the other part of that tag from before lots of little stamping here and there and a little um phrase that says it's often the simple that creates the marvelous and over here another this is a acetate butterfly and um excuse me and this has a little tab at the top this says number 30744 excuse me and that came with the specimen slides it gives you a lot of um other die cuts to either have words or numbers um this is a, a license plate this is um a, a, i don't know it, this came out of a random pack of ephemera as did this, although this is fun on a budget. Her little website is awful cute. She's got some cute little things in there. This is an acetate black and white um, flower. It says flutter at the top, journal at the bottom, some cheesecloth, and a rusty paper clip. A bulldog clip, and that charm says hope. And then over here, we've got um, a lot of uh tim holtz and some vintage trims from redeemable junk this is a tim holtz uh flower i think maybe out of the field notes um this came off a paper pad this is a pocket and these pull out uh, stamping, I don't know where I got that. That probably came in just a random pack of ephemera. Uh, a ruler and a little tag at the top. And over here, another butterfly with glossy accents. Plus, it has these little black... Um, they come on a mesh roll. You can get them in silver, black, red, uh, gold... And I'm sure other colors, but I can't think of, of what. Um, but most of all of this is stamping um, that I had from like either a Tim Holtz stamp or it's actual like um, Tim Holtz tiny 
um, you know, ephemera. Here is some stamping, stamping. Um, that's a little sticker that came in a sticker roll. Here we cheese, we have cheesecloth, we have uh, creepy cloth, and then we've got a little key and a black charm and a gauge. And then on the back, we just, I kept it simple. Um, this is a stencil that I have, and I had one, two, three, some collaging and ephemera there. Um, a little um, word thing that I think I probably got off of a digital. Um, it says butterflies. There's a butterfly. There's some stamping and a little bit more of that Tim Holtz collaging. And that's it, folks. I mean, she was just so easy and fun to make. And I think I'm going to start another one because I was going to sell this in a whole pack of like other random ephemera, like these little, I call them like passport looking photos. Um, this one is of a lady, lots of stamping on this. And on the inside, she's obviously like applying for a visa. At least that's what I was making it it's supposed to look like. Um, it says identification, family register. She just got married. They wanted to know her marriage status. Um, and some more stamping on the back. And then this is a little pocket with some ephemera stuck in it. A little glassine bag. A little card with her picture on saying she was approved. Um, and then here is the actual little pocket. So like I was making um, a bunch of this type stuff plus some tags. And I was going to sell it as a whole lot. But I don't know. I might want to keep that little journal book because she's just so doggone cute. Um, but we'll see. So anyway, um, that is how I put her together. So I know, I think it was Linda, somebody who asked that I do a video. Anyway, thanks so much guys for watching. Everybody have a great day and I'll see you on the flip side.